Hi, Vinny Smith here from VPix Guitar Picks. Today I would like to talk about and demonstrate the difference in a Scumback speaker by Jim Siebel and a stock speaker, whatever stock speaker happens to be in this Roland Cube that I have here. I'm going to be using for this demonstration this uh, Paul Reed Smith Rosewood Neck uh, this one here is owned by John Dean, you may have heard of him, guitarist extraordinaire and famous hand model. And I'm also going to be using the VPIC B-Sharp unbuffed version. This is my favorite pick at this time, especially for this month, but probably for a while because it's just a very fast pick, it's a very fat sounding pick, and it really digs in like I like to dig in. So, I am going to use two Roland Cube 30s. They are identical, other than the speaker change. As uh, she's going, Mrs. V is going to zoom up there and show you they are have the exact same settings, both EQ, gain, and volumes, with clean channel and with the distortion channel. I have them on the same amp uh, modeling mode. And uh, this is what we're going to be using our reference for. Okay? So, we'll do something clean here first. was the, um, sorry, that was the uh, original speaker in the Roland that it came with. I was real happy with that sound until I heard this sound. distortion setting. By the way, that last one, I hope that the camera picks it up. Um, the Scumback had much, not only did it have more mids, it had better mids. A lot more bottom, and the high end was not as tweaky and piercing and shrill. Now we're going to go with the lead channels on both amps. We're going to go with the original first. the original speaker. Now to the scumbag. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
And there's a big difference there. Well, again, back to the original. Just a couple chords. A lot of a lot of riddly noise there to me. Now the scumbag. Good sound. I'm really happy with that sound. Uh, when Jim first sold me the speaker, he says, well, if you're going to like the sound now, wait till you hear it about 20 hours after playing it. I guess something about the speaker opens up or breaks in or something like that. And I didn't really believe him. And um, I just, but I bought it because I did like the sound of them. And, but he's right. After I probably got 50 hours on this. No, I probably got a lot more than 50 hours on it. I'll come to think of it now. But um, probably when I had about 20 hours, I, I did hear a difference. Just one day I thought, wow, that, that speaker really is expressive. So anyway, this is Vinnie Smith. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you got a lot out of it. We always have a good time doing these videos. And again, come and visit us sometime at vpix.com. That's v-pix.com. We have about 50, probably over 50 models of vpix now. And I'm sure that we have a vpix that you will like. Thank you very much for watching. Bye now.